So we've all been uh, locked down and without our gyms for a little while now. We're probably all getting a little bit frustrated because we can't spar, we can't drill, we can't do pad rounds. I know it, I feel it, I get, I get your frustration. There's a lot of things you can do to keep your training at home fresh and interesting. I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to do that with a homemade slip bag. So this slip bag, I made it was just stuff that I have around my house, a shopping bag. Inside I got one of my kids' uh, footballs. It's fairly soft, it's not gonna hurt if it hits me in the head. And a bungee cable that I attached to my roof. It's very light, so you don't need to like drill anything in. This is just a uh, hook that's like attached to my roof with like uh, one of those 3M stickers. And I've got about head height, okay? You want it right here if you can. This is a little bit long, but you get the idea. Super simple, you're gonna use this as an obstacle. You're not gonna be using this as a target. So I'm gonna throw my punches while I'm shadow boxing and try and get as close to this thing as I can, coming around with my hook, throwing my cross here, and then here, and this is just gonna be where I'm not punching. So I'm thinking of it as like my opponent's guard. I try to come around it and try and get through it. Okay, now I can level that up a little bit more, keep it a little bit more interesting by getting it to move. So I'm gonna still throw my combinations. I'm gonna try and get as close to that thing as I can without hitting it. You can see if you hit it, if you just touch it, it starts to fly. So I want to be able to pull my punches just before I hit it. I'm going to be focusing on speed and getting my hands back to my head as opposed to focusing on power. It's also going to help me pull my punches if I get close, which you should be learning to do if you're sparring. You got to learn to pull your punches sometimes, right? Not all the time, obviously, but it's a good idea. I can also use this for my head movement so I can have it come towards me and I can practice my slips. You know, it's pretty slow, but it's the idea of getting something close to your head. And if you're a beginner, it's good because you can kind of focus on getting your balance. You're not trying to go too fast. Then you can kind of, so you're here, you come back, punch, come back, throw some punches, you can start using your footwork with it, moving with it. You can start moving it on angles. So I'm gonna step off and throw my cross, come back, step here, step off, throw my jab cross, throw a cross again, up, cut, hook. Jab cross. You can do it with a kick where you want to throw your kick and come right back before you touch it. You can use it for practicing your bob and weaves. Again, it's going to be a little bit slower, but gives you the time to practice it slow and get your balance. So I'm going to get it moving laterally. I'm going to bob and weave and throw my hook and then come back. Bob and weave, throw my cross. Bob and weave, throw my cross. It's going to slow down, just give it a tap, get it going again. I mean, I've only been playing with this thing for a few days, but I'm finding a lot of ways to make it interesting, to make it useful, and to keep my shadow boxing challenging, interesting, and it's not getting stale. I'm gonna link a video in the description below. Eddie Abasolo did one on Instagram. He has a bunch of cool drills he does with his slip bag. He's very, very good with uh, his head movement and his rhythm and his balance. Actually, uh, saw him doing this back at the CSA camp last year. He does a lot. I was like, wow, man, that guy really likes to slip bag. But uh, I sparred with him that day or the day after. And he's got really good movement. He moves very well. He's got a great sense of rhythm. He's got a great sense of distancing. And, uh, you know, it pays off. So it's super simple. Doesn't require much. You can order one online if you want, but if you can make it, you can make it like pretty cheap. And like I said, it just keeps everything a little bit more interesting, a little bit fresher. For you Muay Thai folks, you can block, practice your elbows on it. You know I'm not gonna go too hard, but elbows don't necessarily have to be hard. I can actually hit the target too, if I want. As you can see, it bounces around quite a bit. It's not really meant for that. But if you wanna actually practice your accuracy and not your power, you can do that too. So the whole point is, if you're a martial artist, challenges are just that. They're challenges to be overcome. Don't, don't despair because you can't hit the gym. Keep your training fresh, keep it interesting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.